Hello everyone, I'm Ari and today I'm doing a 365 Days Focus Art Challenge update. I'll be doing these weekly just to kind of show you what I've been working on and to see, I guess, if you would like more process videos, like more sketch with me videos that I can record while I'm sketching or if you're just happy to see what I've been up to this week. So again, I'm part of Artfully Yours with Diana started the 365 Days Focus Art Challenge, where you choose one thing in your art practice to focus on. So maybe you just want to improve in drawing Maybe you want to improve with watercolors or acrylics or oils, or you want to, you know, you want to start digital art, any of those, or any one thing within your art, such as I'm focusing on faces because faces play a big role in my sculpting and now in my art. So I decided I really want to get better at faces. So that's what I'm working on, but that doesn't mean if you join in your own 365 day challenge that you can't choose something else. It's just to choose something that you really want to spend the next year focusing on. And the time spent on it could be minutes to hours it, or anything in between. It's just every day applying some of your time and making a commitment to apply even minutes of a quick sketch or or trying, let's say you want to get better at watercolors, just trying a color blend that you've been thinking of in your head. And maybe that's all it is. You pop open your, your watercolors and you put down two colors that you're thinking of doing art with. And then the next day you can pull those back out again. It's just getting yourself in this creative, maybe we should call it a creative vortex that pulls you in. I'm finding the more I draw every day, the more I wanna draw every day. And the more faces I sketch, the more I want to sketch. I'm finding it's really difficult to do art just before bed because I get too excited to sleep because I want to do one more face. So let's get to it because this is not meant to be a long video. This is just supposed to be a little update. I will show you some faces I made this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of these, but hopefully not all of them. Um, they're also in some of my other videos. So with the Art Snacks Challenge, I, in the Art Snacks box this month, I had watercolor pencils, the Faber-Castell um, Gold Faber Aqua pencils, and some pit pens, the big brush pens. And these are the faces. I'm really liking, these two are my favorite. This one kind of looks like a, a monkey or an elf. Like a fairy face or a monkey face because of the big ear, I think. And then this kind of looks like a tail. I don't know. There's just something about the face, but I love it for a character. Um, and if you see my Art Snacks video, you'll see that this was just a mistake. But I kept going back and I went over it again. It's still not perfect, but I like what developed from my mistake. I had gone in wet with the watercolor pencil and the surface was wet. I added in some red and ended up with staining. It just stuck to the wet paper. And I thought, well, it's ruined. I just quit and went on to something else. However, I really liked that I went back and tried some new things because there's something about this character, even though it's not a great picture, there's something emerging with this character. This one was more of a cartoony style. 
I tend to draw more square faces or chins or sharp pointy chins and I'm experimenting with a more round face. Um, but these two, I really loved working with those watercolor pencils and doing colorful faces, not just staying to, uh, you know, a painting or a drawing. So this artwork, and this was another one, kind of a side view. I'm really struggling with side views, so I'm going to probably do more of those this week. That led me to experiment on another day with some colors, and I love how she turned out. There's just, I don't know, I just, even though the face is really elongated, I, just using all those colors, and I just, I really like it. And this was another day's attempt at using colors, but I kind of just stopped. And I think that's what you'll find is when I'm short on time, I tend to draw more cartoony. And when I have more time, I kind of shade more and make a face. And this little guy, I hope you can see him. I know the light is a little weird, but he's, I really like him too. Um, he was done with blue and purples but I liked how his little face turned out. So that was like, so that those colored pencils and I'm posting another video, hopefully today with some of these. Again, I started with the colored pencils. I'm really liking lots of color in drawings, but I also have liked doing some black drawings and adding just a bit of color. So. This was my first one the next day, and again, not as detailed. Same with the second one. Third one's more detailed, but the colors were pretty dark. And this was my third or fourth one. My fifth one. So all of these little colored ones then and that probably I don't know maybe an hour hour and a half and then this was the next one just with brown and black and I really like how she turned out her eyes are still a little bit big as I think I said in my other video I'm really struggling with that um, but I just I like her, even though she seemed, all my characters seemed sad. Then I thought, you know, I, a lot of girl faces, I should try a guy. So that was my next attempt. Um, he had more squinty eyes. I'm using some references on Pinterest and Splash. However, I find once I get the details down, like, or I shouldn't say details, either the face shape or the eyes, I tend to run with it and I stop looking at the reference. There's usually something about a face that stands out to me and then my picture ends up looking nothing like the portrait. So showing you reference photos won't help at all because the, you know, if I start with the eyes, the face shape ends up being something totally different. Here was the next one. And this one was my last one on my video. The video cut out just when I was about halfway done with this one. But I just loved her smirk and it just turned out so cute. So I guess I'm ahead of myself because I also did sketching during the week. You might remember these from last week. But I just kind of continued, so see that side view I'm really struggling with. I love how she turned out. Yes. 
So that's my faces this week. I, um, I've really been enjoying this focus. I don't know if it's improving my skills because I still think that, you know, I have on days I'm in a hurry, it's more of a cartoon style. And when I have more time, it becomes a little bit more portrait-like. I still think mine verge on cartoon than portrait. However, you know, and I'm, I'm really liking this style. I want to do more of these. So you'll probably see that. More color pencil, more mixed color pencil. These I added a touch of red to the faces here and here, but it was in black polychromos color pencil with just a hint of red at the cheeks and lips. I really like doing, I've always loved sketching and drawing with brown inks and she makes me remember that and that I want to do more of that. I'm thinking about doing Inktober in brown inks this year, but we'll see how the year progresses and what I feel like once Inktober is here. But I will definitely be playing around with them a lot this year. And this gives me a perfect excuse to use them. So let me know your thoughts how you're doing if you're doing if you start the challenge and if you're starting the challenge what are you focusing on what I know 365 days seems like a large commitment but I just I just approach it really quickly I'm like get up in the morning sketch something out and I'm done I've been doing a little bit more sketching at night just because I'm really enjoying it. And I'm gonna do some more process coffee hours. I'll be posting one probably simultaneously with this one. Just that's an hour of sketching this page, doing this spread. Um, I, I time-lapsed quickly through the first few and slowed down on ones I thought were just a little bit better and maybe someone can sketch along with me. So again, I'm just, I'm using reference photos for most of my art. These I didn't, these I didn't, um, but all of these had a basis in a photo I found online. None of them look like the photo. As I said, for me, once I get a portion of the face, all of a sudden I start building off that part, whether it's the nose, whether it's the eyes. Once I see the eyes on the paper, I can position a nose and maybe I start sketching in the skin tone or, um, and everything grows from that first thing that may have come from the reference, whether it's a nose or face shape but then my art just has a mind of its own and it just goes off from there. I, I usually stop, once I have that first thing on the paper, I stop referencing. I may go back for some shading because if, if the face shape ended up following the picture, it just helps with shading. But so far that's how it's been working for me is that it just, I'm not, trying to recreate a picture online. I'm just trying to create bases and I start seeing images on the paper and I just follow that. So that was my week in review of my 365 days focus art challenge. I hope your challenge is going well and I look forward to seeing more of what everybody else is doing. I have the links below where you can check out others that are doing this challenge and see what their focus areas are. I know several people are doing faces, but remember it can be anything you want it to be and it can start when you're ready. So if you're not ready right now, but come May 1st, you're feeling like, you know, I'm ready to do art for the summer. Choose something that you want to improve on this year and start. 
Digital art would have been another area I would have liked to do a focus. And it's not that I can't. I'm just learning digital art. And so it would be nice to apply a little time every day to that. Uh, trees is another love of mine. And bodies would have been another area that I would have chose had I not chose to focus on faces. But I thought, let's get better at this. Let's... You know, like I need to do some studies on ears and nose, the eyes, the mouth, just to help me. All of that is a focus for this art challenge for if I'm making faces to me, you know, doing studies on eyes or ears or noses or her, the mouth, neck, you know, like all of it helps me to improve on my focus area, which is faces. Don't be surprised. I mean, I'm hoping next week. I don't know. I'm just going to follow my interests and what is making me happy. Um, these faces, all these three faces really made me happy. Shh, this one, this one. My son really liked this one. This one with the colors. Yeah, it was just it's been a fun fun time I this has really improved my joy uh, my art snacks kind of got me back on track doing some portraits in color and it's made this a lot of fun so I'm Ari and this is the 365 days focus art challenge by that was created by artfully yours with Diana Check out her YouTube channel if you want to see what she's up to. And um, as I said, I'll provide the links to some of the other channels and Instagram accounts that are participating. I believe there's eight people. Maybe it's nine, eight or nine people. Um, contact Diana if you're interested. So she just knows to follow you and let me know too. So I can follow what you're up to and how you, you're approaching this challenge and what you want to improve on. I'm always interested to find out what other people are doing and creating because art is just such a joy for me. And seeing other people get excited about their artwork makes me happy. All right, I'm Ari. This is Shamelessly Creative. I hope you'll go out and get creative. Have a great day. Be well. Bye-bye.